Welcome back. It was a story that captivated the nation for more than a month. The Gabby Petito disappearance and killing exactly one year ago today. That missing person's case became a homicide investigation and then a desperate hunt for her killer. But mostly a hunt for her boyfriend, who everybody assumed was the killer. Our own Brian Enton was at the very center of that story, camped outside the home of Brian Laundrie's parents night after night after night, waiting for some explanation as to why Brian came home from his trip without Gabby, but refused to tell anybody why. Looking back, it is hard to believe the chain of events surrounding Gabby Petito's death and the utter circus that the Laundry family put everybody through. Earlier today, human remains were discovered, consistent with the description of Gabrielle Gabby Petito. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery. Gabby Petito's family is devastated. They want answers. They want answers now. Marnie, there were protesters outside the house all day today, but it is very quiet tonight. And it's also quiet at the reserve, at the swamp. A limited search happening now there. We're not seeing the massive search operation that we saw the last several days. Many people now wondering was that search at the swamp a waste of time? Could Brian Laundrie be in a totally different place tonight? Reality star Dog the Bounty Hunter was also at the Laundry's house and says he is now working the case. Can you tell us why you're here, sir? Well, really? <laughs> now, come on. You know. And tonight, Dog the Bounty Hunter says he has a new lead. He says it is a very good lead about 75 miles from here at a campground where he says Brian Laundry and his parents have been. Where are y'all from? Across the street. Are you living in the neighborhood? Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully they can see it. There were those white laundry baskets all over the front lawn yesterday and into the evening. You see they're all gone now. Roberta went for certain laundry baskets. Chris went for other items. Uh, and then you remember that sign that you just showed. It was right here. The women across the street, we were out here when they were banging it into the ground on Friday. One of them grabbed the sign and it was like poof. They did it all so quickly and then they went right back inside the house. What I've been doing uh, since we got this new information from the coroner today is trying to piece together what we've seen out here at the house in regards to the last month uh, in, in combination with this new timeline and what we're hearing uh, from the coroner. And one thing I thought of today, you remember that day several weeks ago uh, when we saw the FBI show up in the morning, they were here about 10 minutes, went right into the back of this camper, had that little vial. Uh, took something from inside the camper and then left, and then we later found from uh, the Laundry family attorney that they were here getting something that belonged to Brian for DNA. Well, that all now fits into this perfectly now that the coroner confirmed today that the FBI did take DNA off of Gabby's body. Earlier that week, um, they saw the Mustang pull into the driveway on Wednesday of that week, that first week, and they saw someone get out with a ball cap on and go in the house and they thought that was Brian Laundry. Well, it turns out it was Roberta Laundry. It was Brian's mom. Chris and Roberta Laundry have been informed the remains found yesterday in the reserve are indeed Brian's. So we now have confirmation the remains found in the reserve yesterday, the skeletal remains are Brian Laundry. Did Brian kill Gabby? You know, that's uh, it's a tough question to answer other than no. To my knowledge, um, you know, I can't say that he did or didn't. I'm sure the FBI may be able to fill those answers in at a different time. Well, the police found Laundrie's notebook near his remains in that Florida swamp, and they were able to dry it out and salvage what he'd written, a multi-page suicide note that included a confession by Laundrie that, yes, he had indeed killed Gabby. A foundation was created in Gabby's name to help families of the missing get closure, and they've so far donated more than $100,000 to domestic violence charities. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.